Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to perform the yearly monitor calibration test. To accomplish a yearly conformance test, please ensure you have the puck and the XCAL software. Note that there are two different types of pucks. You'll only need one for the testing. Please call the tech support line if you do not have a puck or you do not see the XCAL icon on your desktop. Please ensure that if you are using the X-Rite puck that the lens cap swivel is rotated to expose the lens. If the test is run with the lens cap on, the ending result will be a failure. To ensure a successful conformance result, please make sure that ambient lighting in your reading room is low. The yearly test requires about 15 minutes of time to complete. First, locate your puck and plug it into the USB port in the front of the computer. We must make sure that the puck is able to reach your imaging monitors. With puck in hand, stretch the puck out 6 inches past the edge of each monitor to be tested. If the puck will not reach, the next segment explains a workaround to this issue. If your puck is not able to reach, locate the USB cable shown here. This cable was packed with your monitors when you received them from VRAD. One end of this cable plugs into the computer, while the other plugs directly into the back of your monitor. This process will enable your monitor to become a USB bus, which allows you to plug USB devices into it. At this point, you can plug your puck into any open USB port on this monitor. XCAL may now be opened. You can open XCAL by using the shortcut on your desktop. If you do not have a desktop shortcut, you can navigate through the Start menu to locate and execute the shortcut. The first test we need to run is the white level calibration. For some monitors, this testing cannot be done automatically. To determine monitor capability, simply verify if your monitor's serial number begins with C592. If your monitor's serial numbers do not begin with this string, please click the link in this video to be redirected to the manual white level test. Upon completion of that test, please return to this point in the yearly video. For anyone having monitors beginning with serial number C592, please continue from here. We must make the following changes within the XCAL menu. First, select the monitors using the upper checkbox in the left pane. Next in the Tests menu, we will check the White Calibration checkbox. Again within the Tests menu, we will check the External Sensor checkbox. In the drop-down menu, we must choose the appropriate selection for the puck you are using. For Verilume pucks, choose Chroma 5, and for the X-Rite puck, choose the I1D3 option. Finally, at the bottom of the XCAL window, we will click Run to launch the test. We see a testing square appear on our first reading monitor. Each puck has a small puck weight included, which can slide down the puck's cable to the desired position, which is directly on top of the monitor. You'll need to tilt the monitor backwards so that the puck sits flat on the monitor into the middle of the testing square. When you're happy with placement of the puck, click the Start button at the bottom of the testing square to begin the test. 
At this time, the puck should not be moved. Any sudden movement of the puck will result in a testing failure. This test usually lasts about 10 seconds per monitor. When the test is finished, the testing square disappears from your main reading monitor. It then reappears on your secondary reading monitor. At this time, you should leverage the puck on the second monitor just as you did the first so that it lies flat on the monitor within the testing square. Then click the start button at the bottom of the testing square to begin the test. With our white level test completed, we will now run the DICOM calibration. To accomplish this, from the main XCAL menu, we will deselect the white calibration option. We will then select the calibration checkbox and the conformance checkbox. Finally, click Run to begin the test. Again, we see a testing square appear on our first reading monitor. And again, we'll need to leverage the puck directly into the testing square. When you're happy with placement of the puck, click the Start button at the bottom of the testing square to start the DICOM calibration. Just as we did in the first test, make sure the puck is not bumped or interrupted at this time. This test will take about 5 minutes per monitor to complete. When the first monitor has finished, the square will move to the second monitor to be tested. Reposition the puck on this monitor and click Start in the testing square to continue the test. With the final test complete, we are returned to the main menu. At this time, we click on the Reports tab up the top of the menu. Then we click on the Charts tab to reveal the results of the testing. Any result showing 10% or less is a pass. If both monitors have passed, you may now exit the test and enjoy the rest of your day.